Let's say you want to cut several pieces of stuff an exact thickness. Uh, not exactly trivial. These long beams can be hard to hold steady. So I go and I space this up just to reach the, we want that far support only to control the vertical up and down movement. And we're gonna set it with some shim to the height we need. So then you're gonna look and you'll see it's contacting near the blade and far from the blade. Then we control this axis. We're gonna see the gap here and it's closer near the blade. So then I'm gonna squeeze that and allow that to slide. Okay, so now it's in position. Now we're aligned along this axis and we're aligned along this axis. Then we have this degree of freedom pushing and we want it to come out exactly the same 60 millimeters every time. And that's gonna be the distance from my blade to my end stop. What is this funny looking end stop? This aluminum extrusion will now live with my saw and it's fastened with these two fasteners up against this wall. Now we want the cuts to be 60 millimeters after the kerf is removed. So that's gonna be from the saw edge to that edge. So of course we can make this 60 millimeters and then take that end stick and bring it all the way back to the there and make the metal parts flush where you can add this other fun feature that slides through the aluminum channel. You push it until you make contact with the blade. And on the back side, I can make a little pencil mark here and indicate this is the 60 millimeter mark. So if I move the aluminum anywhere and move it back several days later, I can just slide this up until I reach my pencil mark. And then we have a 60 millimeter protruding piece of the stick that is exactly contacting the edge of the blade. And then the distance that I slide my tube up to the aluminum, I'll have 60 millimeters left here after the cut removes material.